place on this Friday night. We'd love to hear from you tonight. Our prayer partners are here. They're here live. And we would just love to hear some good praise reports. We want your request as well. We'll be praying a little later in the service for them. But you know what? I was sitting here thinking, I don't think I would have ever known to even to sit down. I had an old upright pen that my dad bought for me when I was seven years old. But it was actually my mom. And she could play from chord to chord. My fingers aren't even that wide. But she taught me a lot of what I know, me and Vicki. And so we'd come home after we'd get our homework done of the day. And we'd get around the piano and we would sing some of the old songs. What an investment she made in our lives. I'll never, I'll never forget that. And a little story I want to tell you. I know this is getting into my songs tonight. But when my mama got ready to go home to be with the Lord, Ronnie. Ronnie's here tonight. Anderson to play with us. We went in the room and she was singing a song. So we just went in, me and Vicki and April and Wendy, and we just began to just get around the bed and sing along with her. So when we did, she began to sing her alto part. And I just thought, what a way to go to heaven. And that's how she went. She went out singing. And so tonight, I just want to sing one of them. The songs that she taught me, Vicki, I just love it. And you've probably heard me sing it a hundred times. But it no, it no ever get old to me, Ronnie. It don't ever get old. I'm in love with my Savior and He's in love with me. He is with me from day to day. What a friend is He. He watches over me while I sleep, hears me when I pray. I'm as happy as I can be, now I can say, well, somebody loves me and serves my prayer. Oh, and I love somebody, I know he cares. Somebody tells me not to repine and that somebody is Jesus and I know is mine now, I know at home you like to sing along with me so help me this next time well somebody loves me and serves my prayer and I love somebody I know he cares somebody morning feeling fine. I woke up with heaven on my mind. Well, I woke up with joy in my soul. For I knew my Lord had control. And I knew I was walking in the light. For I've been on my knees in the night. Pray till the Lord gave me sight. worship you. 
you. Yes, we do, Lord. We give you our best praise. I worship you, almighty God. There is none, there's none like you, oh Lord. I worship you. house this night in Jesus name we give you thanks amen amen at this time I want us to go to Wade honey oh it's so good to be with you this evening and I trust as always you've had a wonderful week a great day today and we can say this because it's a day that the Lord's made and come what may we can rejoice and be glad in it. It's always good to know that he's ever present and uh, anytime we need him, he's just a, a breath away. Well, our prayer partners are here. I want to mention that right up front. They come faithfully Monday through Friday to take your calls. And uh, if you have a need, uh, spiritual, financial, physical, family problems, no matter what it is, uh, give us a call. Let us join our faith with yours, lifting that need up before the Father. And you know Gwen, she likes praise reports. And so if you've got a good praise report, give a call and uh, let her share that. Uh, usually if I have them, she says, give those to me. I want to share that. But... Uh, Give us a call and share the praise report, what God has done. Because, you know, if he's done something for you, you've gone through a battle, you've gone through a storm or whatever. If he's done it for you and you share it, it helps build others' faith. Because, you know, they can say, hey, if he did it for them, he can do it for me. And yes, he can. Gwen, a wonderful week. Oh, yes, it has been. Great. I know coming down tonight, it, it was storming, and I was concerned about the rain, but it all stopped. And you know what? We're here to have church tonight. That's right. And now's a good time for you to call up somebody and invite them to watch Nightline tonight. We've got some really good music in the house. I'm going to be doing some more myself here after a while. So you need to call up right now. The number's on your screen, 244-1616. They don't want to miss a blessing tonight, do they? You got that right. <laughs> We've got some wonderful guests here that's going to be ministering in song, and we would love for you to, to be a part of that tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. It's been a good week. It's been a real good week. Um, uh, as a matter of fact, you know, I've hit a few health issues here and there, but got a good report this week. Yes, and, you did. Uh, glad to hear that. So. There's your praise report That's right there. That's a praise there. report. Yes, right we've been front. praying for Mr. Wade, and thank God his blood had been really low, and now it's back up to, I think it was 11? 11 11-2. 11 11-2. So, so we just give God praise for that tonight. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. God is good. All the time. <laughs> and yes, you know, Gwen, the thing about it is, is that we just have to take time with him. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. sometimes we want to call on the Lord during times when we're facing things and going through things, but 
We ought to be calling on him, praising him, exalting his name all the time. All the time. All He's the worthy time. of our praise. Sometimes I wake up during the night waiting, I'm just praising him. You know, we go to bed oh, praying and we just wake up sometimes just worshiping him during the night. And, and then we have a, the perfect place right there on our little patio where we just sit out there in the morning and just... I don't know. That's my that's my meditation place, <laughs> and I think it's yours too. It's just wonderful to be out there to where it's just quiet and you can pray and just seek the Lord. So good. It I is. want to tell you tonight a little bit about our program. It's a night of music for sure. Earl Gall Galloway. It's been many years since Earl's been here, but he and Willie Ming are here tonight, and they're going to do some music. I know you're going to enjoy them so much, and so and I want to thank Ronnie for coming down. And Anderson and playing with us tonight too as well. But we're going to bring them over in the second hour and they're going to tell you a little bit about their life and what God's doing in it. And so tonight, it's a joy. It's a joy way. Yes. Yeah, I think they're even going to maybe let me right. sing on the second part with them tonight. Oh, really? That's going to be a treat for me. Hey, that's going to be wonderful. <laughs> uh, uh, I wonder if they will let me sing with them. Well, now I don't know about that. Did You didn't get to practice. You got oh, to practice uh, a little bit. You, if you notice, Earl, she cut me off in a hurry. No, I didn't. No, I was, no. Everybody's got a gift. And you know what Wade's gift is? He is a great cook. He loves to cook. He loves to bake. He can make the best cakes. I mean, really, really good. But you do, you've gotten where you sing along with me, going up and down the mountain, around the piano a little I, bit. I, I hear you setting things up for me to fix you a meal. <laughs> <laughs> he does. He is. I think kid. we need to go to some I singing. I think we need to go to a song too. Earl and Willie is standing by, and they're going to do a song. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Okay. 
Praise God. Is he your friend? You know, he's a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. I'll tell you. Our scripture tonight, Isaiah 26, and we'll start with the third verse here. And it reads like this, wonderful scripture. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusteth in thee. You know, he'll keep us in perfect peace no matter what we're facing or what we're going through. But I want to read one more verse there, number four. Trust ye in the Lord forever. Forever? Trust in the Lord forever. Not just for a little while. For in the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. Are you going through something right now in your life? Are you facing something that you don't know how to handle? You're in a position you don't know what tomorrow holds? Well, let me tell you something. We're talking about someone that does know what tomorrow holds. We're talking about somebody that has the strength to to empower us to do what is needed to be done how to face things and how to go through things. But the key is, and I said it a minute ago, we got to spend time with Him. Spend time in the Word. Because that's how we find out the direction for our lives is to listen to Him. The Holy Spirit will lead God and direct us, Gwen, yeah. in all directions and all things that we need. Mm-hmm. We've just got to Trust him and put it in his hands. Always, always we have to do that. Wait, what if right now there's somebody that's watching that's always wanted to make a decision but held back? What would you, what would you say to them tonight? I mean, you, we can look at the sign of the times and see, I believe we're close to the coming of the Lord. Don't you believe that? Absolutely, I do. And the thing about it is, uh, uh, we... We're bad to look, well, put things off till tomorrow. That's right. Well, we'll wait. Well, you know, we may not have tomorrow. We may not. We may not have five minutes from now. Where do we stand with the Lord? Where do we make our walk with Him? And you know, it's so important, Gwen, to make that decision. And you say, well, I've never made a decision. I'm not in a position... Yes, you are. You don't have to come a certain way except humble and willing to say, Lord, I need you. And if if you've never been in this position to turn your heart over the Lord, just say these words with me. Lord, I come as I am. Lord, I know I'm not perfect. But Lord, your word says I can come to you and say, forgive me, Father, for I've sinned. Forgive me, Lord, for I've come short. Come into my life, Lord Jesus. Lead God and and direct me into the paths that you would have me to go. I give my life to you, Father. Yes. That's all it takes. If you've done that and you've said that from the heart, Sincerely, mm-hmm. you're forgiven. Man. Don't let somebody tell you, well, you were this or you're that. No, I was, but I'm not now. Mm-hmm. I've turned my life over to the Lord. There's times that Gwen and I, one time I remember we were in a, uh, a restaurant. This person, that he hadn't lived for the Lord. But all of a sudden, this man come through the door. He had a little suit on, and he was so excited to let us know that he'd given his heart (laughs) to the Lord. That's right. And not only had he given his heart to the Lord, he'd done something else that was very important. He was professing it, Gwen. Yes, saying it with his mouth. That's right. Amen. And Wade, tonight, if someone prayed that prayer with you, Jimmy and Joanne wrote this sweet little book, First Steps. It's a handbook for new and growing Christians, and We would love to send this to you. Our prayer partners are here, and the number is there on the screen. And we would just love to send this. It's just full of just nuggets of good word that will help you and bless you in the days to come. So 
Be sure and, and mention this little book when you talk to the prayer partner. We're going back now to some good singing. Earl and Willie are going to do a song, Child of the King. Once I was clothed in the rags of my sin, wretched and poor, lost and lonely within, then with wondrous compassion, the King of all kings in pity and love. He took me under his wings. Oh, yes, oh, yes, I'm a child of the King. His royal blood now flows in my veins. And I, who was wretched and Praise God, praise God, I'm a child of the King. You see, now I'm a child with a heavenly home, and my Holy Father, He's made me his own I've been cleansed by his blood and now I'm clothed in his love and someday I'll sing with the angels above oh yes oh yes I'm a child Everybody sing, oh yes, oh yes, I'm a child of the King, His royal blood now flows in my veins, and I, who was wretched and poor, I now can see. Oh, and that's a good place right now for you to just slip your hand up tonight. Thank God you're a child of the King. And you know what, Wade? There was a, a young man, David Alexander, 1973, got saved. He was called to preach. He's 74 now. He loves Jesus, and he's preached in the streets here at WGGS years ago. Thank you for that praise report. That's awesome. Thank God for that tonight. Tonight, if you're being ministered to or you prayed that prayer with Wade a little earlier, I would love, I would love to hear from him, Wade. That's I right. I would love to just be able to just <clears throat> announce your name and how you walk, you're going to be walking the streets to go with me and Wade. And, and it's a good thing, anyway. It's a great thing. Uh, uh, 
just to know Him. Yes. The joy that can that we can have in our lives, and we should have that joy because right. the Word says the joy of the Lord is my strength. Is our strength. Yes. And so when we're going through life and going through things. We ought to be bubbling with that joy. And you told me several times, but how old were you when you gave your heart to Jesus? Seven. Seven years old. I think I was eight, and it was at Bible school at the little church up above us. It was Biltmore Baptist Church. And I remember going down to the aisle that morning and just surrendering my heart to Jesus. And I think you said yours was in the Sunday school room. Uh Sunday school teacher had yep. said some things that Sunday morning mm -hmm. that just left an impact. And that night, I gave my heart to the Lord. Oh, that's awesome. Praise God Amen. for that. Tonight, we'd love to hear some of your testimonies. Our prayer partners are here tonight. The number's on your screen. We're going back now to Earl and Willie. And they're going to do a song, Jesus Built This Church on Love. <clears throat> ever just got so wondering about the way things are today so many on board the gospel ship trying to row in a different way and we'd all pull together like a family me and you we come a lot closer to doing what the Lord called us to do Jesus built this church on love, on love, that's what it's all about, trying to get everybody saved, not to keep anybody out, the door's wide open and just as big as the Father's heart above, I'm glad he said whosoever will, Jesus built this church on shepherd found this lost sheep I was wandering from the fold in love and arms he held me he did not blame or scold now we could all learn a lesson that would make our message blessed our message and our methods must be filled with tenderness well jesus built this church on love on love and that's what it's all about we're trying to get everybody safe not to keep anybody out the door's wide open and just as big as the father's heart above I'm glad he said, whosoever will, Jesus built this church on love. Oh, Jesus built this church on love, on love, and that's what it's all about. They're trying to get everybody saved, not to keep anybody out. The door's wide open and just as big as the Father's heart above. Said, Whosoever will, Jesus built this church on love. I'm glad he said, Whosoever will, Jesus built this church on love. I'm glad he said, Whosoever will, Jesus built this church on love. Jesus built this church on love. I'll tell you, the love of God, there's nothing like it. Uh, we all just be bathing in it. Just each 
and every day. Praise God. Uh, get on those phones. Uh, prayer partners are here. We need to hear from you. If you got a need, we want to pray over it. Uh, you got a, a praise report like when this already had one. We want to lift that up. But right now, I want to say, praise God, we've already had a salvation. Charlie's giving his heart to the Lord tonight. Praise God for that. I'll tell you, a lot to rejoice about right there, Gwen. It means so much to know that somebody can turn their life around and walk in the way that God would have them to walk. Are you walking in that path? It's simple. Got a need? Come on now. Get on those phones. Got a praise report? Let us know. And if you're enjoying this scene, give us a call. Now let's go to Gwen. Amen. Well, God is moving and blessing. And our guests here tonight, it's so good to have Willie Ming and Earl Galloway. Earl, I've been knowing for a long time, meeting you for the first time. But we welcome you. Wade and I welcome you. Amen tonight. And I feel I sense his presence. And I'm going to have the opportunity, me and Ronnie, here in a little while, to get to join them and be over there with them at the 9 o'clock hour. We're going to do it. Well, that's a treat for me. Is it? Yeah, it is. Good. We're going to have a good time. <laughs> it's been a long time. How many oh, years man. or all has it been? I, I got to think about that early. It has to have been 10 or 15 years at least, maybe, you think? You think yeah. it has been? Yeah, ever, ever, at least Ever that. been of it? At least that. Wow. Wow. Well, yeah. How Amazing. time goes by. And we still look the same. You think? I do. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. But I, <laughs> I know. I, I just I just had a birthday. I turned 72, so I know. Well, you're a I'm young 72. Well, thank you very much. But, yeah, I can, I can tell a little difference. Tell me a little bit. I was reading the, the script here, and, and tell me about your growing up years, Willie. Raised in a pastor's home. I know. I read that. And that gives a lot of us. A little bit of living up to. Mm -hmm. Was it just you, or only child? <laughs> I'm the baby of four. Baby of four. Baby of four. Uh, Dad pastored some, but uh, a lot of his years were in evangelistic work. Yeah. And uh, all of us kids sang together. Um, I started singing in church at age five. Five years old. At least 20 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, you heard that. <laughs> and. Uh, then began to sing apart when I was age seven, eight, learning to harmonize with my sisters and uh, travel with mom and dad until they up and got married and messed everything up. <laughs> oh no! Uh, but then Just it messed the whole me. thing up, did it? <laughs> well, what that did is it created an opportunity for me to um, to look at going beyond vocally uh, to do something with the piano. Yeah. Uh, because the need was there. Now you have to understand this was before you could download. A track. Oh, I know. <laughs> or even get a cassette, you know. Now, do you play by note and by ear? I play mostly by ear. By ear. Yes. I had six months piano lessons <laughs> at age 11. So I only had six days. <laughs> <laughs> so I uh, grew up in, in ministry. Yeah. And um, I'm not one of those bitter preacher's kids. I'm grateful for the heritage I had. Uh, watched mom and dad live in home the way they lived on stage. And I'm grateful for that heritage. I it's love it, what you said about it. how they anointed you with oil. I, yeah, I believe in the anointing. School. I believe yes. in the laying hands yes. and anointing with oil. This is a cool story. Yes. Listen to this. So I come in from school. Dad was pastoring in the edge of Tulsa, Oklahoma, at the mm -hmm. time, and um, prayer was not uncommon. So when they said, "We want to anoint your hands and pray for you," it wasn't earth shattering, you know. I held out my hands. We were there in the parsonage. It wasn't a church setting. Mm -hmm. uh, they prayed over me. And uh, no thunderbolt from heaven. But what I did end up with is a, an extreme urge to learn. Wow. A driving force inside me even that young. And God blessed me to, um, by the time I was 14, to accompany myself at the piano to sing uh, because we left that church and began to travel. Mm -hmm. And um, God's been faithful. So was it you, you and your mom and dad? Yes. Yeah. In those years, it was just the three of us. The, yeah. I played and I did the singing oh. and uh, accompanied myself. And that's awesome. Had my first professional job outside of the family when I was nineteen. 
That is awesome. And I see here where you have a CD of hymns, some of the old hymns. Like if you're watching tonight, Mansion Over the Hilltop, my mama taught me that when I was little. Yeah. Amazing Grace, when we all get to heaven, just a closer walk with thee, I'd rather have Jesus. Great songs. You have this on your website, I'm sure. And yes, and uh, there's no instrumentation. It's just uh, the piano only, no vocals. Something you can put in in Just the morning and sing it. with on your way to work yes. or end your evening with. Just um, a precious time before the Lord in simplistic praise. Yes. And that's awesome. Isn't that cool? Oh, yeah. I love it. I love it. So where, where do you see your ministry going? That's a good question. This was not planned. No? Right. No. This no. was not planned. I was in a, a professional group in Oklahoma. Earl was living in Florida, managing a business that he has there and with no intention of singing again, to my knowledge. This is no. your first time? And uh, March the 22nd was our very first. I, we came off the road and mm -hmm. I had no intention of singing. I was done, going to do a little writing and stuff, but not, not singing. Uh, but um, there was a, a place in Florida, in Lakeland, Florida, that had booked me to sing on March the 22nd of this year. Oh. And so... I had moved back to Nashville on December the 7th. Mm -hmm. And Willie used to play for us 38 years ago when we started. Oh, wow. And so he lived out in Arkansas, and he was playing with a group named Felinas out in Arkansas, and uh, David and Lisa Felinas and Willie. And uh, so I told him, I said, I'm moving to Nashville. He said, well, I'll, I'll come to Nashville and see you. Florida's too far. I won't come down there, but I'll come to Nashville and see you. Yeah. So Some he, friend, wasn't I? Yeah, really. So he came and saw me in January, and we were sitting around the piano playing and just horsing around. And I said, I have a date to do March 22nd down in Florida. Would you go with me and play and sing? He said, well, I need to check with David Felinas first, you know. Mm -hmm. And so he called David, and David had been diagnosed with cancer in December. And uh, he, David said, yeah, go ahead. He said, I'm taking the treatments. Go ahead. Have a good time. So that's we plan to do that. The end of February, Willie's mother passed away. I'm sorry to hear that. Two days later, David Felinas passed away with the cancer that he had been diagnosed oh with goodness. in December. Yeah. And uh, so Willie says, my world's turned upside down. I don't know what I'm going to do. I said, well, I've been asked to sing a few dates, but I've turned people down because I don't want to go by myself. And I said... I'll book some dates if you'll go mm -hmm. and sing and play mm -hmm. so I don't have to go by myself. He said, I'll do that, but I'm not moving to Nashville. I'll <laughs> still live in Arkansas because I've got my circle of friends and I'm not moving to. I said, you can fly in and we'll just go do our thing. So that's what we did. And so we took our calendar, took every page, page by page, laid our hands on it, prayed over it. We said, God, if this is what you want, you open the doors. Right. If you don't, don't put anything on our calendar and we'll know. And God has been beyond blessing us. It was, it was a God thing. It had to be a God thing. And so we're doing... I, to say where we're headed, I, I, I can't tell I you know. that. Because all that along the way, God has done... Well, you know, Abraham, God's time Abraham anyway. lived that. Mm -hmm. Search for a city that I'll tell you of. Mm -hmm. Which caused Abraham to have conversation with God daily. Oh, yeah to no direction. So sometimes that's probably a blessing to us, even though we like to be in charge and have a five-year plan and have ducks in the road, et cetera, because I'm, I'm, I tend to be that way naturally. Um, but to do what we're doing as he provides, and even in venues that are not necessarily church settings, yeah. that we would have never tried to put our hand in or tried to beat doors down or make particular contacts. Um, He's up to something because this was not our plan. Right. Yeah, we don't know. But we're following where that leads. We, a friend of ours, has a record owns a record company in Nashville, and uh, he said there's we were headed up to New York City, and he said there's a wonderful little jazz club in New York City. Now you're going to hurt some of the people of faith. Be That's careful. Right. <laughs> and he said you should go and and hear this jazz music. So okay. we did. And the guy at the end of the program says. Our record company sent CDs, and they named the name of the record company. I'm like, that's my friend's record company. Wow. So I went, and I said, we have a mutual friend. We talked about him. He said, now, what is your name? And I told him. He said, I know exactly who you are. He said, you're singing tonight. 
I wow. said, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're, we're not prepared. We don't know. We don't know. He said, oh, no. And Willie said, Let, we'll graciously bow out this time. And the guy says, when are you coming back? Well, he said, probably in the fall. He said, then you're on the program. So this fall, we're going to sing off-Broadway in New York City. We, and we told the guy, we said, we sang gospel music. And he says, I know what you sing, and you're going to get on my stage, and you're going to sing about Jesus. That gives me chili bumps. Wow. That was a so We got back to the Not hotel. Not a door we could have anticipated no. whatsoever. No. We get back to the hotel, and we're both going, what is God doing? Why? What, what did we what? just say we'd do? <laughs> right. <laughs> why, why would God do that? I don't know. No. But we're, if he opened it, we're going to walk through it. We'll have to tell our grandkids they live in New York. <laughs> do they really? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, so that we're gonna do, that's a, a crazy door that's been open for us. Yeah, that's amazing. I, but you see, you really didn't do it. God did it. God did it, exactly. Yeah. exactly. We sit here and scratch our heads going, what is he doing? I'm glad God knows what he's doing. You know, we don't have a clue. Well, it goes along with the scripture tonight. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own yeah. understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will because we don't understand <laughs> we don't understand this we don't know all we're trying to be is a willing vessel and I, we Available. pray yeah we pray and we say God make us the pitcher pour your spirit through us mm -hmm. speak through us not us you speak Amen. and let us see somebody's life changed yeah. yes. so I don't know as far as our goals I don't really know. We just want to sing. One day at a time. Yeah. 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 May I pray for you all? Yeah, absolutely. Wait, let's pray for them. Please Father, do. in the name of Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I thank you yes. for them. I thank you for your hand upon them. Thank I thank you, you for doors thank that you're opening for them thank you, Lord. that they didn't even see coming. <laughs> but they you, make their self available to you. And as they do thank that, you, and they're obedient in that, God, and I know that you'll open doors for them. Thank you, Father. I thank you, Lord, as they go and they minister many souls. Oh, I Lord, thank you, please. Lord. That's what it's all about. Yes. We know yes. that we are nearing the end days. And I thank you, Lord, yes. for many souls. Yes, Lord. Oh, you said in it's the, the anointing Jesus. that breaks the yoke. In the name and of Father, Jesus. And Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask that you would take the two of them and use them please, in this Father. last day in the name of Jesus. And we thank you and we give you all the praise yes, for it. Amen. You, amen. Glory to God. I'm yeah. going to be so blessed. Uh, I'm going to get to join them. Yeah, I want Ronnie to help us on base too. We're going to get to join them over on the second hour tonight. Thank you. What a treat. What Thank a you for treat letting us come. that Thank you. is. And, I, 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 and just, I think about y'all all the time and uh, such a kindred spirit. Uh, we just were on the same page. And I just. It I love feel, it. If, I haven't been here in years, but I walk in and it feels you're, like you're home. You're at home. It yeah. feels like home. Well, um, yeah. I started here with the Emmanuels 50 years ago. That's a long time. But Wade and I are coming up on 28 years yeah, here wow. on Nightline on Fridays. Yeah. And, and we love it, don't we, honey? We do. And I've got, I've got to ask you now. Uh, you had Neither one of you had planned to step out and sing, but you had that date in Florida. Yeah. How was it starting out in Florida? Well, I was nervous as a cat tacky. on a hot tin roof. But it, like an old shoe. <laughs> yeah, Willie said. Comfortable like an old shoe. Yeah. We had worked the stage for so many years, years ago. Um, having come from the loss of my ministry partner, I wasn't emotional ready to take the stage with someone. But I thought, that's just Earl, my friend. I can play for him. Um, and it was a healing process for me. And comfortable. Right. Very comfortable to work together again in ministry. Yeah. Amen. Amen. It's so God didn't that let wasn't you, perfect. God didn't somebody. let you get cold or stale. He was warming you back up. <laughs> Apparently. <So. laughs> I said, we weren't polished that evening. We were spit shined. <laughs> you weren't polished, but you were what? Spit shined. Oh, spit shined. Shine. <laughs> I got that. But it worked. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> we had a good time. Yes. You know, Amen. I think the people did too. Amen. I remember Gwen coming here and working the share-a-thons. And 
We always put us on with a guy named Steve Muncy. Oh, yeah. Do you remember that? Oh, Lord, yes. I, Steve, my, I was sure. producing then, and one time he called me up and said, Now, I need a boat for tonight. And I'm saying, You a need boat? a what for tonight? <laughs> he said, A boat. I yeah. need a boat. And so, you know, I had to just try to do what I could do to make it available oh. for him to come. I mean, he could ask for so many, so many things. I seen him just, he'd go here, there, here, and those yeah. cameramen were going, stop, <laughs> where are we going? Uh -huh. yeah. It was I great, know. great memories here. I know. Well, Wade, I want you to share a couple of things. We're going to get ready to sing right here, right now. And I'm going to let y'all just slip right back over there All if right. you would. And. And just God wants to use y'all tonight mm -hmm. in ministering. And then I'm going to be joining you in the second hour tonight. Mm -hmm. Amen. Wait, we okay. share. Okay. Yeah, I want to share some uh, prayer requests that have come in. Uh, here's one that uh, uh, says, pray for daughter Deb. Uh, having surgery tomorrow on the hand. Uh, needing uh, Lord to intervene there. Here's an unspoke, unspoken request from a gentleman who said, uh, pray, they're going through some financial uh, difficulties there. Uh, pray for family and friends. They're, they need salvation and healing. And we serve a God that definitely can do both on that. Uh, here's another one that's an unspoken request, but God knows exactly what's needed there. And um, here's another one. It says, uh, a woman says she's really enjoying the show uh, tonight. I tell you, when God's moving, you can't help but enjoy it. And Gwen, it's really been going well tonight. Amen, amen. Now we're going to go back to some good singing. We are, Wade. And you're, if you if you not got to watch it, don't change the channel right now because I got to hear this earlier and see it. Earl and Willie are going to play together on the piano, Wade. Meeting in the air. And I'm going to tell you something. It's so anointing. So stay right with us. And we're going to let them go and put this together tonight. Meeting in the, meeting in the air, Earl and Willie. <laughs> too far for somebody that wants to call up and tell somebody else we've got special guests in the house tonight and they are playing Willie can y'all go back to the piano and do that one more time I'm going to tell you something I don't think I've ever seen anything well, like that I don't know if they go back or not you know I, I don't I don't play the piano but my fingers are tired <laughs> 
<laughs> your fingers might be tired, but listen, you might know somebody tonight that's lost their joy. You might know somebody that's been down in the dumps. This is a good time for you to call because this song is so anointed. And I, I, they just got to play. If nothing else, you're playing it for me tonight. How about that? Willie. All right, we're going to go to him. I'm telling you, that was awesome tonight. And if you're watching that, I want you to go to your phone right now. I don't care if you have to wait to get through down here to Nightline, 2441616. Tell us how much you enjoyed that. Those that's not had joy, I know they got joy now. Oh, they should have it. <laughs> Those who needed a breakthrough, I know you have got breakthrough after that. I tell you, I, I just had to look over and say, see, uh, Earl, they were walking back to their fingers just like this. <laughs> We would love to hear uh, what you thought about that tonight. We were amazed at it. I had them do it twice. Wait, I know the phones have been busy. Oh, my the, goodness. They have been busy tonight. Uh, I've got a prayer request here that's got several different things listed on it. Uh, there's an individual that has uh, heart problems, needing a touch from the Lord. Yes. Uh, another one that's got kidney problems, uh, also needing touch. And uh, then pray for another family member to uh, for a stone to pass. I know what that's like. I tell you, that can get really rough uh, on that. Uh, please pray for a friend going through a bout with cancer and um, liver and all. So we just lift them up right now. Yes, we, just, we do. We just speak healing in the name of Jesus. There's no distance in prayer. Father, I thank you that there's not reach out right now and touch these, Lord, that that are sick and going through these infirmities, Father. You're the deliverer, Lord, and we thank you for it in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Uh, ladies called in, Gwen, she's going through depression. We take authority over that tonight in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I tell you, there's so, so much here. Depression has to go. There's a lot of people that can get down. They can get depressed. But you know what? Watch what you're feeding on. You know, find you. The other day we were had our TV on, and there was just some of the best worship music we were listening to. Oh, it was wonderful. I want to tell you something. It's wonderful. Watch what you're doing, what you're watching, that kind of thing. And be around people that love Jesus. Find you a church that's full of the glory of God and get in it. Amen. We're going to go back now, Wade. We're going to take these requests here to the Lord in a little while and pray over them. We're going back to Earl and Willie, and they're going to do a song, I've Been Changed. Through the church. 
church bells chime It was meeting time On a Sunday morning in spring I took my place on the pew We all settled in Then the preaching began It was a sermon of grace How past sins are erased Because of supreme sacrifice I stood to my feet Made my way to the altar Jesus had changed my life I've been changed I've been changed And I've been forgiven Nothing's the same been erased nothing ahead but amazing grace and that might explain the look on my face cause I've been changed now it's been ten years and I'm still right here with my voice lifted in praise and I have no regrets since the day that I knelt And the Savior I claimed See I was ruined by sin Stained and guilty within I could no longer live with my pain Then with one drop of mercy I walked from sin's prison Shouting, oh 